Hello everybody, in this video we will use Magento GraphQL annotation to actually add product to the cart. And let's start with our GraphQL Altair plugin. Add new tab and check the docs annotation. And you see there is add products to cart annotation. Let's Google it. And here is Magento Docs with uh, Magento uh, with mutation example. Let's try it. We need card ID. Let's create card ID. and probably some product let's try this one like we need product SQ and send the request and you see there is a response with card items data there is one item uh, exactly what we expected So let's back to our code and start create the functionality. Let's name a product to cart mutation. And let's copy mutation here. So our response will be like this. ID string name string and SKU string as well and quantity is number okay now we want to replace it with variables Let's name it card ID Let me check my notes quantity float and scale string Let's replace data with real variables. Looks good. And let's go to our use card hook 
And let's create another mutation. Add product to cart. function add to cart which will get sq string and quantity number and one is default value since we don't have a quantity control right now we will use our mutation function and here we should pass variables and variables actually cart id sq and quantity we have cart id from store and sq and quantity from the function let's add it to result annotation And we'll return promise void. Also, we want to return loading state, which is boolean. Now we can hold our product details screen. Use card hook to get add to card function and loading state. can add on press on add to card press in here we can use add to card function where we can pass sq and left yeah uh, flow is complaining about arguments let's check it it requires sq and quantity let's set it optional yeah, and it's result. Cool. So yeah, we will use SQ from road prompts, and with loading state we can add progress state to our button. So 
So if not loading, we will show icon. And if loading true, we can use activity indicator with size small and color white. Okay, good. Now let's take a look. I think we can use flipper here. Oh, I think we not finished with the function add to cart. There's wrong response. We need uh, add product response type here and on success we will do nothing for now just cancel log the data And let's take a look. Maybe data and errors. Let's go to accessories, jewelry. And let's try to add product to the cart. And you see there is successful response. Uh, I think the structure a bit different from what we describe in our type. It starts with add product to cart. Let's go and fix it. And now it should be fine, I think. Okay, that's it. We'll see you in the next video.